Hey class, um, happy Thursday. Uh, I wanted to uh, do a video to talk to you briefly about uh, your upcoming final paper assignment, um, the biblical uh, exegesis and hermeneutical assignment, um, as well as the two alternative assignments that you have the choice uh, to do, um, and kind of provide uh, a little bit of uh, an idea of what I expect from those. Um, I've put up um, some directions and a rubric for how to write the paper and what I expect in the paper on the course website. So I'm not going to really um, reiterate that or uh, just simply repeat what I've already put in paper there. Um, what I do want to do, however, is talk about the options that you have. Um, you basically have three options. The first option is you have an option to choose a particular text from the selection of texts that I've provided from the New Testament and do a traditional biblical exegesis and hermeneutics paper. Um, these are two terms we haven't talked about this, this semester or this course, and I wanted to talk a little bit about what, the, what that means. Um, exegesis is just a fancy word for saying, um, what does the text say? The word exegesis literally means to read out. When we are doing exegesis, we are analyzing the text to ask what the text is saying in its own historical, um, biblical, cultural context in its time. Um, and so in your biblical exegesis and hermeneutical paper, the first thing you're going to be asked to do, or one of the two main things you're going to be asked to do, is to analyze what your passage says and what it meant to its original hearers um, as much as you possibly can based on research from uh, the, the, the based on the, your reading of the text itself, um, based on your reading of our assigned text from the semester, and then based upon your own research from uh, Bible dictionaries, commentaries, um, other resources uh, that you would use for an academic paper. So the first thing you're going to do in this paper is do this exegesis where you read out um, what the text is saying, lift out what the text is saying, and articulate what that text is saying um, in your paper. The second thing that I want you to do in that biblical exegesis and hermeneutical paper is the hermeneutics side. And hermeneutics is just a fancy word for interpretation. Um, and that is your interpretation of what this text means for us today. Um, so we're not just simply reading for what the text meant in its own time, but we're, ex we're going further and we're asking the question, okay, how do we apply and interpret hermeneutics? How do we interpret this text for today's context? And so you're going to write a four to six page paper if you do this assignment. And I've laid this out, but what you're going to basically do is you're going to identify um, a kind of thesis um, in terms of what you think the text is saying and what it means to us today. That should be articulated in your first page of the paper. And then you should spend two to four pages um, each on the exegesis side and the hermeneutics side um, to lead to a conclusion for what this text means and says for us today. Okay, that's your first option. Your second option is to um, do a critical reflection paper on the film Son of... on the film... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, do a critical a critical reflection paper on the film Son of Man. Um, the film Son of Man is a film that was, uh, I think, uh, came out in 2006. Um, and it is basically a retelling of the gospel narratives of Jesus from the perspective of contemporary modern day South Africa. Um, what would it look like for Jesus to be born into um, modern day South Africa and have to face the realities of our world today, the injustices of our world today, and how might we retell the gospel in that setting? That is what the film is trying to do. And so what I'm asking you to do in your critical analysis of the film is I'm asking you to look at this film 
And then on the basis of it, I want you to articulate some of the key themes um, from the New Testament that are uh, emphasized in the film. Um, and then I want you to analyze and reflect upon um, just what that film says about who Jesus is for us today. Um, and so in that film, what you're doing is you're analyzing the text of the Gospels um, in light of this, uh, the showing of the film. Some examples of, a good example of um, writing on text in light of film is the Gaventa reading um, that we had on Romans, um, where she reads um, the Tree of Life. This is a little bit different because the film itself is focused on the life of Jesus Christ, and so the parallels are more direct. But I'm looking for you to draw those parallels, point out the ones that you think are most important, and answer the question, who is Jesus Christ for us today, based on your reading of the scripture of the Gospels in light of that film, Son of Man. That paper, too, should be four to six pages long. Um, it should have a clear thesis statement of the themes that you're going to analyze um, from the scripture in light of the film. Um, and then it should have plenty of reference to um, the scripture text, reference to examples, illustrations from the film, as well as um, the readings from, uh, that were assigned when we read the Gospels of Matthew and Mark, as well as Luke and John um, in that. This is not a research paper as much, but you should still be actively quoting from the readings and the, and the biblical text. And then the third option that you have is I give you an option to write a four to six page letter to the American church. Um, this would take the shape much more something like Via Yobos's um, letter, uh, letter to the Markan community. Um, but essentially what I'm asking you to do is take, take the, the, the kind of uh, approach that Paul does in his letters. Identify a problem or set of problems that you think the American church is facing today and lift out from Paul some key themes and teachings that you think are important to address those problems and write it in the form of a letter to the church in America. Um, this again is not uh, a research paper, but I do expect plenty of biblical citations, um, both from the gospels and the epistles, as well as drawing upon uh, the readings where they are where they are pertinent in helping you to make your point in the letter that you are writing. So you get to choose one of those three um, options. Each of those, whichever one you do, it needs to be a four to six page uh, double spaced typed paper, um, and that will be due next Friday, uh, the twenty eighth of June at eleven fifty nine p.m. So that I can get those graded before before grades are due. Um, if you have any questions uh, over the weekend or over the next week about um, what it is that, uh, that you need to be doing in these, in these papers, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I'm here to, I'm here to help you. I'm here to give you some guidance, here to help give you some advice and maybe some direction as to how to get started um, or if you get stuck, how to move on. Um, but I'm really looking forward to these projects, really looking forward to what you might come of it. Um, what, what you'll make of it. Uh, Son of Man is available, by the way, on Amazon Prime Video for rent. Um, if you have trouble accessing that, let me know, um, and I can perhaps help you with that. But otherwise, I, I really look forward to, to these papers. We've had a great course so far, um, and I look forward to you guys finishing strong. Let me know if you need anything.